ever bought in, have you ever bought two computers, both Macs, and they do both, they both shipped with an Apple remote, and then you go, you press the up volume because you're watching a movie and it's not loud enough for your iMac, and the volume is set perfectly fine. But then, when you're using your remote with your MacBook Pro or MacBook, depending on whatever computer you're using, in my case, MacBook Pro, I do the same thing with this remote, and it's working for the same computer. What could this possibly mean? Now, the reason for this is they're both paired to both devices. Now, that is a serious problem. You do not want that, unless you want to control two computers at the same time, which is kind of cool, but it looks kind of funky. So all you have to do um, is unpair w the device you don't want to be connected and pair the one you do. So for my case, I'm using this one for the iMac and this one for the MacBook Pro. They're both paired to iMacs and back MacBook Pro. Now, so all I have to do is go to System Preferences and go to Security, located right here. Now click the lock to make changes and type in your password. Then um, all these grayed out areas will become regular colored gr um, black and you'll be able to press unpair So go ahead and do that unpair all the devices same on the other computer now decide which remote you want for which computer I Chose my newer one from MacBook Pro because the MacBook Pro is ten times more expensive Well, not ten times but much more expensive than my iMac and I like to use the m nicer things with it such as a nicer microphone and stuff, but so I take my remote from my iMac, which I label down here, iMac. You can do that too if you want. And to pair your remote, all you have to do is hold down the menu button and the fast forward button simultaneously for five to 10 seconds. So do this by taking menu, side, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, at six seconds. Uh, as I said, 5 to 10 seconds, you'll see this. It shows a chain blinking with a remote below it. That means your device was paired. Do the same thing with the other remote on your other computer, and they should both be working great and not be interfering between the two computers. Thanks for watching. This was Apple K Tech.